Metal Powder Bed Fusion Powder Bed Fusion is an advanced, highly complex and one of the most popular additive manufacturing technology. Powder Bed Fusion is also a widely used metal additive manufacturing process, where complex functional 3D parts are created by selectively melting and fusing layers of powder using either laser or electron beam. Metal powder bed fusion process has been predominantly used to manufacture high-value, low-volume complex geometry parts, which cannot be produced with conventional manufacturing processes. In spite of greater design freedom, powder bed fusion has many critical design rules that require thorough knowledge and experience to master. To produce high-quality robust parts with powder bed fusion, an in-depth understanding of material and process parameters is essential which also governs many of the design rules and considerations. Introduction Powder and Process The powder bed fusion process involves the heat source, laser or electron beam, powder material and their interaction, powder melting and fusion dynamics. Note See the particle spatter during the printing process. Spatter is the material ejected from the molten pool and its vicinity. The spatter lands back in the powder bed unless removed by the gas flow. The spatter has the potential to alter the local particle distribution and contribute to the structural defects in the final parts. The quality and resolution of the printed part is a function of powder characteristics and process parameters. The main powder characteristics critical for PBF processes are powder flowability, particle size distribution and packing density. The physics of powder melting and fusion generates specific requirements for the metal powder around the powder particle size and morphology, shape. Laser and electron beam powder bed fusion systems require fine metal powders, which are mainly produced using either gas or plasma atomization process. Note. The particle size employed in laser beam powder bed fusion ranges between 15 to 60 microns, whereas electron beam powder bed fusion uses larger particle sizes, between 45 to 105 microns. Metal powders can absorb moisture, oxygen and other interstitial elements present in the air, and affect printability and the final material properties of the part. Metal powder is susceptible to explosion due to its flammability and also imposes a risk of inhalation. Therefore, powder bed fusion systems require expensive infrastructure and safety equipment to store and handle the powder. The above risks are aggravated during the printing and requires controlled inert environment. Note Metal laser powder bed fusion systems utilize an inert gas such as argon, whereas electron beam systems use vacuum environment. Process parameters such as the heat source power, beam diameter, spot size of laser or electron beam, powder layer thickness, scanning speed and pattern, and inert environment play a critical role in the final quality of the printed part. These parameters also determine the minimum printed feature size and the surface roughness. Note The power of the laser, used in powder bed fusion ranges from 200 to 1000 watts, whereas electron beam ranges from 1000 to 6000 watts. The higher power of electron beam can melt the metal powder faster, but results in lower resolution and higher surface roughness. Laser powder bed fusion uses a beam spot size of 20 to 100 microns, and print spots with a surface roughness of 5 to 10 microns. Electron beam powder bed fusion typically uses 100 to 200 microns beam diameter, and produces parts with a surface roughness of 20 to 25 microns. Residual stresses and distortion Metal powder bed fusion contains high thermal gradients, due to rapid heating and cooling that occur during material melting and solidification. This results in part distortion and residual stresses. In order to mitigate distortion and residual stresses caused by heat differentials within the build, laser powder bed fusion systems use resistive heating of the build plate, whereas electron powder bed fusion systems heat the powder by the electron beam prior to melting. Note. 
In laser powder bed fusion, build plate can be heated to 200 to 300 degrees Celsius, whereas in electron powder bed fusion, powder is preheated to approximately 1000 degrees Celsius. The specific temperature is dependent on the material being printed. Moreover, the design rules such as aspect ratio, wall thicknesses, adding radii on sharp corners, and optimal part orientation helps in minimizing residual stresses. However, residual stresses and distortion cannot be completely eliminated, and hence require robust supports to anchor certain features to the base plate. Note. The supports also serve as a heat sink to dissipate heat away from the actual part build. Material performance. The layer by layer melting and fusion of powder results in an anisotropic material. Properties change with direction, which has an impact on the part design and performance. The powder bed fusion process is also vulnerable to porosities, mainly result from suboptimal packing density of the powder and particle spatter during the printing process. Therefore, parts printed are not fully dense and have lower fatigue life compared to the wrought material. Post-processing such as hot isostatic pressing, is used to compress porosities. Note. Hot isostatic pressing is a heat treatment process, which compresses materials by applying high temperature and isostatic pressure at the same time. Heat treatments such as stress relief annealing, are used to relieve process-induced thermal and mechanical stresses within the part. Moreover, solution heat treatment, aging and tempering, are also used to improve the grain structure and overall properties of the material. Material properties of the printed part depend upon the powder and process parameters. It is extremely important to optimize critical powder and process parameters, to ensure high quality robust parts. Note. When these parameters are not known for a particular PBF system and powder material, iterative studies on sample specimen are usually conducted to obtain optimal parameters prior to final part print.